All right, so one drill that I like to do outside of doing all your drills on the field and throwing routes on air is actually working on keeping your throw nice and compact because as a quarterback, you don't want to get outside of your range of motion. You do not want to flip the ball back. You want to be inside that shoulder cup or you know, the rotator cup. So everything is quick, compact, and it's on the point because in the, in the course of a game, you got to get that ball out in a hurry because a defensive end, a, a blitzing linebacker, you never know what's going to happen. You don't want to have a long release. So one drill I like to do is, and I, again, I learned this from a guy named Jeff Christensen, you put your foot back up against the wall just like what we were doing with the ball, your foot, knee bent, pointing at your target. And what you do is you throw the pass, but when you're against the wall, it doesn't allow you to bring the ball back. It doesn't allow you to get that big chicken wing type arm. And then you keep it short and compact, and you throw your pass. This is always a good one, you know, as part of your warm up. You know, if you want to do this a couple times a week, every other time you throw, it's a good one, you know, because you have to work on keeping that arm short, compact, sweet. You don't want to get too far out in front of that front foot, though, because once you do that, now you're off balance. So you want to, you want to keep your shoulders balanced, but you want to be heavy on that back foot because that's where your power is coming from. Short, compact, and again, your receiver is out there. He's showing your hands. It's all about accuracy. And you do this. Do about 20 of these. Now your receiver can back up. You can throw them deeper. You can change your, your release point from a level one, which is a lower release point, to a level two, which is in the middle, and then level three, where you're releasing it much higher. So they're backing up. And again, as you can see, everything's the same. Where you, where you place the ball before you load. You know what I mean? Being relaxed, yet cocked and ready. Being on the ball of your foot being able to transfer that weight, so on and so forth. So this is a great drill to do against the wall.